What's that? You thought I'd finished for the day? No, no, no. Unboxing's one thing. Uh, these are currently sitting there while I'm waiting for floor polish to dry. Floor polish. I thought I said nail polish for a second there, but I didn't. <coughs> it's every time I start recording. But, for now, I think we review something else. Something that also came today. Power of the Primes Beachcomber. And he is neat. See, when I first saw the picture of him, I went, oh, look, they've made a new beachcomber. All right. And that's about as much as I got out of it. Um, I saw a couple of people's reviews and, you know, at least one convinced me. It's like, oh, go on, if, if I see him going cheap. And then I saw this uh, £5.50 delivered. Yeah, I'm having that. Whether this is official or not, I believe it's official, but you know. So, I'm having that, that's fine. <clears throat> but, he's not quite G1 Beachcomber. There's something off. There's just something not right, and I think it's to do with this. It's not that the bars are grey, whereas they should be black. Or anything like that. It's the fact that there's this big grey gap. These don't even meet. And that's only because of that big seat. And that seat is only there for... Let me just open this up. Borrow loudmouth for a second. Put the arms down. I haven't actually tried this before. Let's see how this works. Just so you can sit a Titan Master in there. <clears throat> and that's kind of neat, uh, I, I guess. But it, did it have to affect the figure like that? I think that's all it is. I think it's literally just that gap that's that's doing it. I, I don't know. Plus, and I'll take Loudmouth out for a second just to prove this point. This bit's a bit finicky. I don't really like this, this whole thing. Once it fits together, it fits together all right, but but if you try and push this, it doesn't, you know, it's like it just doesn't plug together quite as well as I'd like. You know, if that locked, and these sections here kind of tab into the side, so you think, ah, they'll lock it in place. No, no, they tab into this piece, not that piece. And that piece slides into this piece. So there's nothing stopping that from moving. Other than... That little frame. Which is on a hinge for the transformation. It just... It just doesn't quite sit well with me. That's all I'm saying. And... What's what symbol with a gap down the middle of it? I know the original had, but the original seemed to just mesh better. I'm not completely sold so far. I'm, I'm just, I'm not. I'm not trying to be funny with anyone or anything. I'm just not completely sold on him. Which is a shame, because he is very nice. If I if I drop the nostalgia goggles and I just go, yeah, it's a little June buggy thing. He's got all the lights, he's got the suspension stuff molded in there. You know, symbol on the front. Kind of like these dark panels. I can't remember if the original had them or not. I, I've had the original, but I can't remember if he had them. Engine on the back, a little bit of silver. That's neat. Again, shocks and stuff at the back. There's possibly an exhaust there. It's all very neat. It's all very well done, apart from that gaping hole in the back. It's fine. I won't get angry. I've, I've done the complaints. I'm good. I'm fine. Um... Yeah, it's nice. I mean, um, there's a little bit of paint on the uh, wheels, but not the giant silver pins or blue mushroom caps. But it, it's fine. It, it's okay, and you can put a guy in there if you're in love with that little gimmick. Fine, I'll let you off. I'm just not sold on. Size comparison with a figure that doesn't have to fit 
a little fella in there. <coughs> Road trap. So, similar proportions, he's a lot chunkier, but then he's kind of, uh, Beachcomb is kind of stretched out to have that giant hollow. So, and they've got uh, like pedals and uh, a steering wheel kind of molded in there. Uh, let's move this out. Why is the dog licking himself right next to me? I don't know if you can hear that. See, there's two pedals in there and a steering wheel. It would have been nice if it was picked out in any kind of colour, but, you know, budget, all the rest of it, fine, I'll, I'll let them off. Yeah. Just, mm. Anyway, get him out of the way. Let's transform him. Okay. This is a really difficult one. Are you ready? Are you ready? You may need pen and paper to get some notes. Are you, are you with me so far? Okay. Right. Good. Well, let's go. So what we need to do is untab this bit, which you've not seen me do otherwise in this review. Stop being snarky and just do the review. Shut up. Come on. Let's, right. Okay. I'm sorry. So untab that bit. Get this whole front section and just fold it all the way over there. And just shove these bits up. At this point you turn the figure over and stand it up. Ta-da! Dogs are seven to make an, in <laughs> an appearance in this video, isn't he? So you untab the arms. Again, these tabs here go into this piece. But not this piece, which would have made a lot more sense. Would have helped a lot more. And I'm, I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. Honest. I am. I am. I'm over it. It's fine. It's good. So again, untab, and then for dramatic head reveal, you slide this. Well, this goes into there, and that goes to there. So whichever way you want to do, you want to push that up or push that down, whichever way you want to declare it. Okay, you've never clicked in before. All right, there we go. There we go. Uh, fold this down because you might as well. And uh, split the legs. Okay. And that's Beachcomber. And he is the coolest little beach bum dude that's ever existed anywhere, ever. He's neat, he's chunky, he's cute, he's adorable in every possible way. And I really like this. Except for one tiny little nitpick. And I, I admit right now it's a tiny little nitpick and it's not even it's not even really a big deal. It's just one thing that a couple of things that just stick in my mind with this figure. And it is Is it just me or is he a bit thick in the body? Is he a bit fat? Because G1 Beachcomber was really thin. I mean like really, really thin. Like, as wide as the arms were, that's as wide as the body was. Or very nearly. He was really thin. So to have this guy whose body's like twice, three times as thick, it just... It's a bit... I don't know. Again, it's just me. It's my problem. It's not the figure. I can't, you know... But it's just something that I've got in mind. Uh, head... <laughs> just about swivels. But not very far... No, theoretically could do a 360, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. But he's nice. He's got all the molding. He's got the the beautiful G1 head sculpt. I I I loved Beachcomber. He was a great figure. You know, he was one of the ones that had like a GoBot GoBot style fist lasers. Like he's just standing there going pew 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 from his fist. Actually, no, how was he standing? He was sort of standing like that. He wasn't even trying, you know what I mean? It's, uh, I believe it was one of the Dinobot Island episodes, because it's about the only episode he really made an appearance, if I'm honest with you. Those three. Him and Power Glide, you know. But no, he's cool, he's neat. I do like him. I, I do genuinely like this guy. Uh, this is a bit of a mess, and then there's a big hole... Curiosity's sake. Now it's a mech suit. Can you see why I don't do stop motion? That's right, I haven't got the patience. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a fan of this having the Titans fellas fit in them. Personal preference, it just doesn't work for me. Uh, size comparison. There's Battle Slash. So, if anything, he's slightly heftier than Battle Slash. Which is cool. That's fine. I've got no complaints. Uh, he's certainly a lot more simple than Battle Slash, you know. The proportions are a lot nicer, other than thick body, but fine. Not a problem. Fine. Battle Slash has got more proportions at a woman at my new work. But the less said about that, the better. But you might think that's done with comparisons. But no, you know what? No, I've opened this cupboard especially. Let's let's do this. So, only their version of pipes, which is going at the back. Uh, Wheelie, who's also going at the back. Braun, Braun can go over there. Cosmos. Uh, sea spray can have squeeze in there somewhere. I can't see if these are in shot at the minute. You have to bear with me. Uh, rewind, I believe it was. And I might as well throw in stripes somewhere just because I can. It's getting there, isn't it? Really, you know. Uh, so I'll swap some of these around because uh, the colours were kind of blurring on uh, Sea Spray and Bumblebee. It's kind of getting there, isn't it? I mean, Bumblebee and that, fine. Cosmos and Beach Knight, yeah, that's great. Braun, fine. I don't hate him, but again, stupid gimmick. Bumblebee actually comes off really well from it. Even Wheelie gets away with it. Sea Spray, not so much. Him, not so much. Him, not so much. I just, it's not my gimmick, is what I'm saying. But the boys, man. Uh, they have our announced Outback now using this mold. Who called it? This guy. Uh, I believe there may actually be a Gears version as well. I'm not, mis I'm not sure yet. There's the new Wind Charger and Tailgate. Not sure how I feel about those. Not sure I really care too much. Uh, Power Glide. I, I got Viper. I, I know I'm going to have to get Power Glide at some point. I might try and get like a knockoff or a cheap version or something. But I, I, I know I need Power Glide at some point. But getting the Minibots, man. He needs an update. That's It's not his figure at all. I know I've had this rant before, but I don't care. Yeah, get the mini bots. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy. And Beachcomber just feels like I, there should always have been a Beachcomber. That Bumblebee's not perfect, but he's fine. Cosmos is really good. Sea Spray fat, but I suppose Sea Spray was never that thin, so he's fine. Wheelie is as good as Wheelie needs to be because Wheelie's awful. Bronze, okay, I guess. But I got Beachcomber, man. What's not to love about good old Beachy? He combs beaches. Like that scene in uh, Spaceballs, if anyone remembers that. Yeah, man. I, I, I'm, I'm quite happy. And when things are sorted, possibly in the morning, I'll have to see how things are because I've got to go work tomorrow afternoon, morning-ish, whatever time. I'll see about these two. But... Next video is a knockoff, isn't it? We shall see about knockoffs. So, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one. Bye!